All right, this is a quick overview on overclocking the new Gigabyte P55 boards and the new i5 or i7 uh, chips, 1156 socket chips. So you go into your BIOS here. This will just be a quickie. I've got some more in-depth ones if you uh, care to watch them. The quick way is to go under this screen disable turbo boost C1E EIST enable base clock control say we take this to 160 which is a jump from 2.8 to 3.36 Make sure your memory is at or below your memory's rated speed. For this small of an overclock, you can leave your uh, QPI clock ratio the same. If you go much higher, you want to make you might you might want to uh, change it to the lowest setting you have. Um, if you're overclocking, you might want to. Uh, use the performance enhance uh, standard. In my other videos I show the uh, timings and stuff but this is a quickie. So You want to enable load line calibration and the rest of these you can leave at auto. If you want to, for this small of an overclock I'm going to change them to normal. All except my DRAM. That'll just keep the heat down. They don't need to be uh, bumped up to sustain this uh, small of an overclock. So that's about all we've done. Let's change the base clock and the memory multiplier. It's just to show you that it'll boot. Running a Core i7-860. And the uh, P55-UD4P motherboard. Looks like she's going to boot fine. You want to have some good cooling if you're going to overclock. Uh, there's not very many coolers out right now for the uh, 1156 platform. That'll soon change, I'm sure. But uh, at the time of this video, it's uh, 30 new. There's my temperatures, 36, 37, 37, 33, 3.36 gigahertz. Uh, I could open up Prime 95 here and put it under full load uh, to show you what the uh, temperatures go up to. So now we're under full load, still at 3.36 because the uh, turbo boost is off, disabled. And there's the temperature, 60 degrees. This is with a $15 cooler. So if you had a better cooler, you, you could really... You know, people are getting up to 5 gigahertz with this chip. And, and this platform. But it, it'll, it'll never get above uh, around 60 to 62 degrees. And it's completely stable with uh, no voltage bump. And granted, it's a small overclock from 2.8 to 3.3, but, you know, it does give you more for your money. You know, why, why not take advantage of it? So, that's my quick guide on overclocking the uh, P55 gigabyte board on a Core i7-860. If you had an i5-750, 
i7-870 or any of the new uh, i5s or i7s that are coming out, uh, you could uh, use this do the same thing. I hope this helps.